We are tracking, of course, today's developments, and we got this big number. Again, 37. Doesn't seem like a big number, but as I say, oftentimes a little number can be a really big deal. Hospital admission rates are declining or flat in at least 37 states. And diagnosed COVID-19 case visits are down nearly 24% in the past two weeks. Those numbers are telling you what, Dr. Ashton? Good news. We'll take it. Some light at the end of the tunnel. All right. We continue to keep learning about vaccines and how safe they are. Yep. But this time we got some new information about uh, safety of the vaccine when it comes to fertility. Fertility and pregnancy reassuring news again that there is no observed effect um, with these vaccines and fertility. This is the largest study published published to date compared vaccinated and unvaccinated people going through in vitro fertilization found no effect on IVF outcomes or success rates, miscarriage um, when you compared these two groups. Another study just published, uh, research done out of Boston University, found men who had recently had COVID, recently tested positive for COVID-19, actually had a decrease in fertility that lasted for about two months. So not only do the vaccines not hurt if you have COVID-19 that can affect fertility so two more reasons to get vaccinated when you're talking about your reproductive health for both men and women all right Dr. Ash and always appreciate you well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.